Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing social media in the context of U.S. marriage visas. Um, I do have folks that ask me from time to time, um, is social media a component of the visa interview and adjudication process? And this is occurring primarily abroad at a U.S. embassy or consulate where the visa application is being processed. The long and the short of that, the, the, and the answer to that question, if you will, the long and the short of it is, yes, I think social media can be used in adjudicating a given case, and I think moving forward, the likelihood of it being used is going to increase, for lack of a better term, exponentially. Um, for one, as we've explained in another video on this channel, um, there is a proposal to require uh, individual applicants to provide their social media information as part of the adjudication process for a visa to the United States. Um, at present, that is only being required in a limited context. I think as technology advances and as time goes on, we're going to see that information being required in a broader and broader, and eventually, I think, in every instance, it's simply just going to be required. As of the time of this video, although not necessarily required, I have seen consular officers go out of their way to ascertain the genuineness, for example, of a given marriage or a given proposed marriage or relationship, especially associated with family-based visas, and where they found information that has contradicted what, uh, what appeared to be a valid, a, a, genuine, a genuine relationship, they have made sightings that they felt that there was a sham relationship at play, and in those circumstances, refuting that factual finding is especially difficult pursuant to doctrines such as the doctrine of consular absolutism or consular non-reviewability, um, pursuant to which basically factual findings by consular officers cannot effectively be refuted. They, they are a factual finding that is not reviewable. Why do I bring this up in the context of a marriage? Uh, well, let's say hypothetically you you know, have been married to your spouse for a significant period of time, but let's say somehow a consular officer has gained access to that foreign spouse's uh, Facebook page, for example, and there are his photographs of romantic involvement with another individual. This could clearly, um, again, this is wholly hypothetical, but this could clearly uh, be used as grounds for finding that perhaps there might be issues with respect to the genuineness of the underlying relationship. Um, as we move forward and as we see social media accounts probably, and I think, in, in, I think it's likely going to happen, uh, as we see social media accounts information being required in visa adjudications, I think it's, there's a strong possibility that the usage of social media in ascertaining the genuineness of a relationship is going to be at issue. As of now, and in most of the cases we deal with, um, voluntary uh, remittance of social media documentation is oftentimes part and parcel of the adjudication process in order to show the bona fides of the marriage itself. Um, things like messenger applications as well as, you know, I've even used Facebook status changes to married or Facebook status changes to engage as just one more piece of evidence um, associated with the underlying genuineness of the re relationship at play, uh, the platform for which is being used for the visa application. 